What would you expect of your friends if you send them a message that you're not feeling well or you are in some kind of trouble? What kind of response would you expect of your friends or your relatives? My name is David Oginde and today I want to talk about the text, the call and the presence. Many times when you're in trouble and you send out a message, you expect that your good close friends would respond quickly and come to be with you or say something or do something so that uh, they identify with the situation that you are in. Sometimes you'll find that some of your friends will send you a text. Depending on how close they are, both physically and as a friend, it will send a kind of message to you that I care, but I'm not available. I cannot even talk, but I'm with you. And depending on what message they have sent to you, it will communicate something about what they feel and where they place you in their lives. Some of your friends may send you or may call you just to find out, oh, what is happening? Uh, is there anything I can do, you know, that kind of thing. And you converse over uh, your situation. Again, that will communicate something and will tell you about your relationship with that particular individual. Because they have taken their time, they have called you, they have identified with you, they have heard your voice, you have explained to them uh, how you're feeling, what is going on, and perhaps they have promised that they will do something about it. It communicates a, a, a little closer relationship uh, with that particular person. But then there are friends who you call them, you send them a message that you are not feeling well, you are in a difficulty, and they leave everything they were doing and run to come and be with you. And they walk around with you, they help you, they... Uh, take you to hospital if you are sick or they I, try and help you if you're in trouble. They are there with you. Sometimes they may even do nothing because really there is not much that they can do. But they just sit with you, uh, being with you, standing with you, empathizing with you. Now these three responses are still responses of friends. But they communicate very, very different kinds of relationship with your friends. And especially if all of them were to be within vicinity, it will tell you that you have different levels of relationships with these people. One person has sent you a text, the other person has called, the other person has come to be present with you. In this Christmas season, I want to talk about these three kinds of responses. What does a text mean for us? In our relationship with God, the Bible says that at the beginning, God sent a text. He called Moses up the mountain and he gave him written tablets. And in it, he had communicated what he would expect of his relationship with his people. And Moses came down with the tablets, uh, as you know, if you know. Uh, those very first tablets were actually broken when Moses came down and found the people running wild and doing crazy things. He was so angry that he broke them. He went back to the mountain and God gave him other texts, other tablets. And in those tablets, God stipulated how he would want to relate with his people. And all along, God related with his people on the basis of that written word, the Ten Commandments as they are known. That was the relationship that God had with his people. As time went by, it is clear that that textual relationship with God was not working. People were breaking the laws, they were doing all manner of things, and so God moved to the next level. He made a call. And the Bible says that 
in diverse times and in various ways, God sent his prophets. And he came and spoke to his people. Sometimes he would reveal himself to them in dreams. He would speak to his people directly, appearing to them in dreams, in visions, uh, in prophecies. And people would hear the voice of God. Sometimes he would call a person by name and they would hear. And so God spoke to his people uh, in what today we would say a telephone call. You know, he is still far removed. He's still far away. But he would talk to his people, uh, speaking his mind, expressing his views, understanding them, and hearing them. Like when he sent Moses to Egypt to deliver his people, God came and appeared to Moses and said, I have seen the suffering of my people. I have heard their cry. I have come to deliver them. And so now I'm sending you to Egypt so that you can go out there and bring out my people. So God spoke to his people through dreams, through visions, through direct communication, and that is how he related with him. This relationship was getting a little more closer than a textual relationship, where it was just through the written word. In fact, the Bible says that the word kills, the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. And so God moved a little closer that now he was speaking like to Moses face to face. He was speaking to his people through the prophets. And the prophets would come and say, thus says the Lord. This is what the Lord is saying. And so God related to his people through conversation. But it's very interesting. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1, verse number 1, that in the last days, in the previous times, God spoke to his people through dreams, through visions, through prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us through his son. How did that happen? The Bible tells us that God became man. Through Jesus Christ, he became Emmanuel, God with us. In other words, God now moved from just sending a text God moved from just speaking to us through conversation. God came to be with us through Jesus Christ. And that is what we celebrate at Christmas. Emmanuel, God with us. What does this mean to us? It means that God is no longer removed, sending us only textual messages. God is no longer removed, just speaking to us through dreams and vision. God is now with us. He is God who is with us in every place where we are. Emmanuel means that God has come close to his people. I'm reminded of Job. Job had friends, and when they heard that he had problems, he was suffering, he had suffered devastation. The Bible says that his friends came a very long distance, and they came and sat with him. And for seven days, they just sat there. They were doing nothing. They were saying nothing. They just wanted to minister to him through what I call the ministry of presence. It is very different when a friend calls you, when a friend texts you. It's very different from when a friend comes to sit with you. They may do nothing. They may say nothing. But the very fact that they are there with you in your time of need tells you that this is a very close person who cares about me. That is what God did at Christmas. He became a baby born in our presence and lived among us so that he walked among us and he did things that sorted out our issues. And so God is no longer a God who is out there. God is no longer a God who is removed from us. God is a God who is now with us. He is with you in your car. He is with you in your house. He is with you in your workplace. He is with you in the bed where you are. He is with you everywhere. He is God with us. God who is present with us. That is what Emmanuel means. If you want to talk to God today, you don't even need a pastor. 
You don't need a prophet. You don't need anything. You can speak to God where you are. And you know that he's hearing you because he is there with you. He's Emmanuel. In those last days, if you wanted to talk to God, you had to go to the priest. And the priest was the one who would go to the Holy of Holies and speak to God on your behalf. Now you do not need that. The Bible says we can approach the throne of grace with confidence because God is with us. The very curtain that was separating the people was torn so that every person can now have access because of Jesus Christ. And so during this Christmas season, you may be feeling you are all alone. You may be feeling like nobody cares. You may be feeling like God is far removed. Let me tell you, Emmanuel, God is with us. He is no longer a God who just relates with us from a distance, sending us text messages. He's not a God who just calls us through prophets. God is now with us, available wherever we are. And I'm praying that during this Christmas season, you will experience the very presence of God. You will experience the Emmanuel, the God who is with us. In good times, as you celebrate great things that have happened in your life, God is there. In difficult times when you are struggling with issues that burden your heart, God is there. He is our Emmanuel. And I want to pray for you today. Whether you are experiencing good times or you are experiencing difficult times, that this Emmanuel will be real for you. It will not just be a message you hear. It will not just be something you know. But that God would be really present in your life because that is what makes a difference. Emmanuel, God with us. Would you want me to pray with you? Let's pray together. And if you want this Emmanuel to be close to you, I want you to say this prayer with you, with me rather. If you have never made a commitment to Jesus Christ, you have never experienced the closeness of God, I can tell you it is a reality. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say these words after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I recognize that you are Emmanuel, God who is with us. This day I invite you to be a God who is with me. Forgive me my sin and make me a child of God. Help me from this day to live for you and to walk with you all the days of my life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I want to pray for every person who has listened and watched this message, wherever they are. Some of us may be rejoicing, some of us may be troubled, some may be sick, some may be going through challenges, but you are the God who is Emmanuel, who is with us in every situation. I pray that you will reveal yourself to each and every person who is listening or watching this message. May you come through for them and may you manifest yourself to them as a God who is ever present and who is ever available. We thank you and we bless you for we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening and watching this message. I want to pray that it will make a difference in your life. And if you want us to be in touch with you, please get in touch with us. The contacts are available right there on the screen and we will be happy to be in touch with you and help you in any way so that you can have a closer relationship with Emmanuel. God who is with us. Amen. God bless you.